Tonight's bout here in Montreal, the five-point must system will be used in this fight. Five points to the winner of a round, a less number to the loser, an even round, giving each fighter five points. Round number one. The referee does not in, uh, involve himself in the scoring of the fight. The three judges do all the scoring. The referee does not have a vote in the fight, except, of course, that he can uh, stop the fight and also that he can penalize a fighter for a foul. Both fighters wearing dark trunks. Archie Moores have the gold stripe, whereas Yvonne Burrell is wearing the white stripe. work on this fight uh, pretty much came to a unanimous conclusion that Durrell would have to uh, come storming in at Archie Moore early in the fight if he were to uh, get him and he just did with a right hand of the jaw. Archie Moore is going to make it. There's the bell. Archie Moore has made it. His handlers flew across the ring to get him back to that corner, and this is a big minute in Archie Moore's life. Jack Kearns leaning in from the ring rope. The manager who guided the best knees of such is Jack Dempsey. Now bringing his skill and training to bear on behalf of Archie Moore is the seemingly ageless warrior weathered a storm that was tremendous. Down three times in the first round, staggering on rubber legs. But he just looked over at Jack Sharkey, smiled and winked at the referee. And he is telling his handlers now that he is all right as his face is slapped into clear whatever fog may be left in the hard hit head of Archie Moore. This was a tremendous beginning for a fight. The buzzer sounds and Moore gets on his feet. Ordinarily at the end of round one, we would have left this arena for a commercial, but we felt that we should stay here and see the recovery of Archie Moore. And we did see a remarkable evidence of stamina in this veteran of the ring war. Now let's see what happens in round number two.
using the early moments of this round to recover his stamina. Two minutes to go in round number two. He's been flicking out a sharp jab, but really hasn't been trying too much. Moore now seemingly fully recovered from the near disastrous first round Oltal began with a tremendous right that caught him flush on the jaw dropped him for a nine count he was down again for a two count down again for a nine count weathered the storm and here he is with a minute left in round number two now beginning to step up his own attack still of course very cognizant of the danger that lies in the Durrell fist seconds to go in the second round. Well shot standing on the gloves of Archie Moore. Ten seconds to go, round two. to get the impression across the ring for whatever discouraging effect it may have to Yvonne Burrell that he is once again in the best of condition. After that careful pacing he took in the first round, it, uh, it's astonishing that he can even put on a show for Yvonne Burrell, but he's doing just that. of Durrell's are blocked. Durrell did not land in that exchange. It brought a tremendous shout from what is, of course, a partisan uh, audience here in favor of Durrell, a Canadian boy. But Moore was able to fend off that punching attack of Yvonne Durrell. That left-hand shot of Moore's was picked off mainly on the glove of Durrell. seconds to go, round three. You're watching Mills Lane Night on Friday. Honor of Yvonne Durrell, a young man who must be amazed 
that he is still fighting Archie Moore here in the fourth round after the near annihilation he wreaked upon the veteran champion in round number one. Durrell uh, has been biding his time since that tremendous opening round in which he floored the champion three times, waiting for a chance to get that crushing right hand home once again. A chance that has not come his way since round one. good reason but there's a little more snap in his punches a little more effort behind them two minutes to go here in the fourth round right hand shot came in just alongside the nose of Moore that was a near miss Number five. canvas three times in round one. He paced himself through rounds two and three, just pretty much avoiding Durrell and regaining his strength and his clarity. Then started to move out after Durrell in round four. Durrell came in with a beautiful right-hand shot, and Moore is down again. Six. Up at the count of six. No mandatory eight count. Two minutes to go in the round. Right hand of Yvonne Durrell did it again. He has got Archie Moore wobbly. Moore trying to hold on. Archie Moore staggering but fighting back. An amazing display by boxing's elder statesman Archie Moore. How long should it go on? left. 
five. seconds to go. Round five. Moore is going to make it again. It's network. All right, it's round number six. This is Archie Moore, who is standing up all through the between round period. Once again, trying to take a uh, psychological shot at Yvon Durrell. Uh, refusing to show any sign of weakness, any sign of fatigue. And a right hand shot comes alongside the jaw of Yvon Durrell. The amazing Archie Moore. Down three times in the first round. Then fighting back strongly in round four. Then nailed again in the fifth round for a six count. But by the time that round ended, he was giving out as much as he, had re he was receiving. Now we're in the sixth round, a scheduled 15 round for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Archie Moore tonight up against what is amounting to by far the toughest test of his light heavyweight reign. And now Archie Moore has bloodied the nose of Yvonne Durrell. Two minutes to go. Round six. Continues to jab at that damaged beak of Yvonne Durrell. <laughs> Jack Sharkey, the referee, came in there. <laughs> the rabbit punching tactics of Durrell, again drawing a warning from uh, Jack Sharkey. While the referee does not score a round, he can penalize a fighter to take away points in a round for fouls. He has to warn him first. He has now warned Durrell. Previously, he stepped in as it looked like Durrell had uh, a grip on the back of Moore's neck and was about to swing a bolo punch. One minute to go. Round number six. seconds left in the sixth round. the gallant old warrior, round number seven. The consensus of uh, expert opinion around ringside before this fight got underway was that if Durrell was going to do it to Archie Moore, he would have to get him out of there early. Durrell certainly came close to that. Now let's see whether or not he has taken enough out of Archie Moore to take a little longer at it than the ringside uh, writers thought Moore would permit. Archie is punching sharply once again. Well, 
looking for a home for that big right hand and seems a little more impatient to use it than he had been in the previous round. And again, Sharkey warns Durrell on the hitting and holding tactics. seconds left round number seven now Archie Moore has put the staggers to Yvonne Durrell drops him up at the count of three Durrell down ten seconds to go knocked him down three times in round one and again in the sixth round Moore made the seventh round what could be a turning point of this fight as a left right combination slammed against the jaw of Yvonne Durrell and dropped him for a count of three Durrell down in the seventh round for the first time in the fight what a tremendous dramatic thing this is here in this ring at the forum in Montreal Canada Archie Moore defending his light heavyweight championship of the world schedule but seems it's almost impossible that it will go it's limit of 15 rounds to go. Round eight. Right hand shot by 
Cottrell with the glancing blow. Bouncing off the head of Moore. Ten seconds left, round eight. From the right, Archie Moore, 173 and three quarters. Archie Moore got a couple of licks into the body, but Moore, for the most part, blocked those punches. seconds left, round nine. Ten seconds to go in the ninth round. for 15. Archie Moore seems to get stronger as the fight moves along.
One minute to go. Round number 10. in the first and sixth rounds when he had Archie on the deck. Ten seconds left. Down goes Durrell. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Saved by the bell at the count of eight. You're watching me. Seconds were late getting out of the ring. again in the fifth round as he was cracked to the floor with a count of six struggled to his feet fought his way through until round seven became a turning point Archie Moore down in the first round in the fifth round I should say for a six count the turning point of this fight came in the seventh when he dropped Darrell for a three and now this fight is ended in the eleventh round Archie, uh, when you came into that ring in that beautiful sequin robe, I thought to myself, he looks like Superman. Well, after seeing you fight here to this, this evening, I think you are. Well, thank you very much. I uh, enjoyed the fight so very much, and, and Ewan Durrell is a much better opponent than the people had granted him. And, and I can see why that uh, he had a lot of those fellas down. I would say you could see why. Wow. How much do you remember the first round, Archie? First round, I can remember, only thing I can remember are the knockdowns, but I remember something kept telling me to get up, get up. And I said, well, this can't be me. And so I had to get up. I said, well, if there's no, uh, there's no uh, free round knockdown mandatory. So I kept getting up, and I figured, well, I say, maybe I can catch him later on, which I did. And although it was a heck of a great fight, and I appreciated being in a good fight. And uh, I think that the Canadian fans are the greatest. Well, Aren't Archie, they uh, business, you certainly all. won. That's expected because I was fighting a Canadian son on Canadian soil, and I expect that. But I, I'm, I'm happy that everybody was satisfied with this fight. It was a great fight. You won their hearts tonight, Archie. Was Thank there you. any particular moment in the fight when you saw it was beginning to come your way? Well, I saw it beginning to come my way in, in about the fourth round when I began to stiffen him up with, with good left straight jabs uh -huh. and, and work him around. And then I knew that I could get a right hand punch over, which I did. Archie, you better get down to the dressing room and cool out a bit now. Jack, right. congratulations. Thank you, Ken. Jack like Kearns, the manager of Archie Moore. Oh, how far are we going? We are going all over the United States Well, I'd like Canada. to say to a lady in room 217 in Scripps Hospital in Mill Room Hospital in, in La Jolla, California. She's 90 years old, and I think that she's the sweetest, and I hope that her nurse, nurse Davis will take good care of her and a little boy named Yvonne. Very and I'd like, thought, to, like to say hello to them and hope they get out soon and... Uh, and be on the street again. And I'd like to see him when I get